So we can actually measure things like how fast it's forming stars. We can measure the amount of stars in the galaxy. We know the size because we know how far away it is. Uh, and we know the typical age of the stars in the galaxy, so we know a lot. The James Webb Telescope has just delivered a groundbreaking image of Gliese 504b, a planet that defies everything we thought we knew about the universe. Gliese 504b's mysterious pink hue is unlike anything we've ever seen, and it might hold secrets that could rewrite planetary science. Tune in as we unravel the breathtaking mysteries hiding in the swirling pink clouds of Gliese 504b and what this means for the future of planetary discovery. A magenta marvel beyond Jupiter's reach. Gliese 504b isn't your run-of-the-mill gas giant. This planet is unique for a lot of reasons, but the first thing that catches your eye, it's color. This planet is pink, magenta, if we're being fancy. Scientists believe this strange hue comes from leftover heat from its formation. You see, this planet is still pretty young, at least in cosmic terms, about 160 million years old. That's baby territory for planets, but beneath its magenta clouds lies a mystery so profound, it could rewrite everything we know about planets. This pink planet orbits a star that's much like our sun, but here's the kicker. It's orbiting at a distance much farther than Jupiter is from our sun. Think several times the distance, making its placement a bit of a cosmic head-scratcher. Planets like Gliese 504b don't usually form this far out, which is making astronomers rethink some of their big theories about how giant planets come together. Now you might be thinking, why does this matter? Gliese 504b is more than just a pretty face. This planet challenges what we thought we knew about how planets form. Most of the time, gas giants like this one form closer to their stars, where there's plenty of material to pull together into a planet. But this one is way out in the boonies, defying the usual rules. Some astronomers think Gliese 504b might have formed differently, maybe through a process called disk instability. Instead of slowly collecting material like most planets, it's possible this one just sort of clumped together all at once. If that's true, it's a big deal because it means there might be other ways for planets to form, ways we've barely begun to explore. Before James Webb came along, getting a clear image of a planet like this was nearly impossible. The problem is that stars are so much brighter than the planets around them. Imagine trying to spot a firefly next to a lighthouse. But Webb's cutting edge tech changes the game. Its infrared cameras can cut through the glare and show us planets in stunning detail. With Gliese 504b, Webb's tools captured not just the planet's pink glow, but also hints about what's in its atmosphere. Early data suggests there's a lot of methane and water vapor, which might not sound exciting at first, but it tells scientists a ton about the planet's history and what's going on in its swirling clouds. Gliese 504b is just one of thousands of exoplanets we've discovered so far, and each one has its own wild story. Some are massive gas giants orbiting scorchingly close to their stars, like WASP-12b, which is so dark it's been nicknamed the Black Planet. Others, like Proxima Centauri b, are rocky and Earth-sized, sitting in the so-called habitable zone where liquid water might exist. And then there's TOI 700d, an Earth-like world 100 light-years away that's got scientists buzzing about its potential to support life. Space is packed with strange worlds that stretch the limits of what we thought was possible. There's a planet out there with winds blowing at thousands of miles per hour, HD 18933b, where it literally rains glass sideways. Then there's WASP-76b, a planet so hot it vaporizes iron, which then condenses and rains down on the night side. If you think that's intense, check out J1407b, which has rings 200 times bigger than Saturn's. Living on a moon orbiting that planet would give you a view that had put every postcard to shame. Some planets push the boundary of what's scientifically possible. Take LTT 9779b, for instance. This ultra-hot Neptune is wrapped in metallic clouds so reflective it acts like a space mirror bouncing back 80% of the light from its parent star. Then there's Kepler-10c, a planet so dense that astronomers call it a mega-Earth, tipping the scales at over 17 times Earth's mass. 
For all the bizarre worlds we've found, the ultimate question remains, is there life out there? Gleazy 504b probably isn't the place to look. It's too young and too far from its star to support the conditions we think are necessary for life. But planets like TOI 700d or Proxima Centauri b, they've got scientists' full attention. Finding life isn't just about spotting a planet in the habitable zone. You need the right mix of chemicals, a stable climate, and most importantly, liquid water. And even if we find a planet with all those ingredients, we'd still have to figure out how to detect actual signs of life from so far away. That's where telescopes like James Webb come in, helping us analyze the atmospheres of distant worlds for hints of oxygen, methane, or other telltale signs of biology. One of the most promising candidates is Kepler 452b, often called Earth's cousin. This planet is just a bit larger than Earth and sits comfortably in its star's habitable zone. Its sun-like star has a lifespan that's billions of years longer than our own, offering plenty of time for life to potentially evolve. Even closer to home, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, has scientists excited. Beneath its icy crust lies a vast ocean that might be teeming with microbial life. The discoveries we've made so far are just the beginning. With James Webb, scientists are already planning to take an even closer look at Gliese 504b and other planets like it. They're hoping to learn more about how these worlds form, what's in their atmospheres, and whether any of them might have moons that could host life. Future missions are poised to take the search even further. NASA's planned Habitable Worlds Observatory could make it possible to directly image Earth-like planets in the habitable zones of nearby stars. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency's aerial mission aims to study the atmospheres of hundreds of exoplanets, unlocking their chemical secrets. Each discovery shows us how much more there is to learn out there. Fire, ice, and iron rain. As we push further into the cosmos, one thing is clear. The universe is full of surprises. Planets like Gliese 504b remind us that there's so much we don't know, and every new discovery is a chance to rewrite the rules. Scientists predict that within the next few decades, we'll have the technology to detect alien biosignatures or even find life itself. Until then, we'll keep exploring, driven by the knowledge that the more we learn, the stranger and more beautiful the universe becomes. Hey, have you heard about what the James Webb Space Telescope just did? It's causing a stir with some wild discoveries. And this one's a doozy. A planet called Gliese 504b has been captured in what's being called the clearest image yet of its kind. This isn't just another pretty picture. It's a planet that's making scientists rethink what we know about the universe. Let's break it down in the simplest way possible, but keep your curiosity locked in because this is one for the books. All right, Gliese 504b was initially mistaken for a brown dwarf back in 2016. Why? Because it's a massive planet. Turns out, though, it's just too small to be classified as a brown dwarf. But don't let too small fool you. This thing's a beast. It's 1.2 times wider than Jupiter and over 12 times heavier. If planets could flex, this one would be doing it nonstop. One of the coolest things about Gliese 504b is its auroras. These aren't like the pretty northern lights you see on Earth. They're a whole other level, likely powered by its insanely strong magnetic field. Scientists think a moon or even another nearby planet could be helping to stir things up, creating these jaw-dropping displays of light. But here's the kicker. This isn't even the strangest weather in space. Take, for example, a nightmare of a planet called WASP-76b. Imagine rain, but instead of water, it's molten iron. Liquid metal falling from the sky is hard to even picture. On the day side, temperatures skyrocket to about 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to vaporize metals. It's slightly larger than Jupiter and sits 640 light years away from us. Its horrifying weather is due to being ridiculously close to its star, 10 times closer than Mercury is to the sun. It's so close that one side of the planet always faces the star while the other side is in eternal night. Creepy, right? Now zooming out a little, why does this matter so much? The universe is teeming with exoplanets like these, some Earth-like and potentially habitable, others straight out of a sci-fi horror movie. Each new discovery pushes the limits of what we thought was possible, 
and shows us how little we actually know about the cosmos. The James Webb Telescope is like a cosmic time machine, capturing light that's been traveling for over 13 billion years. It's letting us peek into the universe's baby photos, and what we're finding is both fascinating and mind-bending. Light captured by Webb has been stretched as the universe expands. This stretching means that when we look at the most distant galaxies, we're essentially looking back in time, almost to the Big Bang itself. Think of it as zooming in on a photo that keeps revealing more and more details the closer you look. But as we do this, the discoveries are throwing serious challenges at long-standing theories like the Big Bang. Here's one of the biggest shocks. The telescope has spotted massive galaxies that formed much earlier than they should have, according to our current understanding. If these galaxies are as old as they seem, it's like finding a fully grown tree in what should be a seedling's timeline. This kind of discovery has scientists scratching their heads and reevaluating everything they thought they knew about how the universe formed. Astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have noted that the James Webb Telescope is uncovering evidence that might even challenge the Big Bang Theory. One hypothesis is that black holes from a previous universe could have played a role in creating ours. If that doesn't make you feel tiny and insignificant, nothing will. Of course, scientists are urging caution before jumping to conclusions. More data is needed before textbooks are rewritten. Could there have been errors in the measurements? Possibly. Could these galaxies be hiding supermassive black holes that are skewing the data? That's another plausible explanation. What looks like stars in these early galaxies might actually be dust and gas collapsing under gravity. To figure this out, researchers are using spectroscopy, a technique that analyzes the light coming from these objects to determine their age and composition. If the early galaxies are confirmed to be as massive as they seem, it could mean our current models of the universe need a serious update. The most widely accepted model, known as Lambda Cold Dark Matter, or Lambda CDM, has been the go-to for explaining how the universe works. It suggests that dark matter and ordinary matter mixed together in the early days, with some of it forming stars as gravity pulled it into clumps. But if these massive galaxies form so early, it's as though the universe skipped a bunch of steps in its own recipe. One researcher ran calculations and concluded that for these galaxies to exist, nearly every atom in the universe would have had to turn into stars. That's like using up every single ingredient in your kitchen to bake one cake. Sounds extreme, doesn't it? Other researchers are exploring alternative ideas like early dark energy theories, which propose that the behavior of dark energy might have been different shortly after the Big Bang. And then there are those smaller, scrappy galaxies, like the one discovered just 500 million years after the Big Bang. Thanks to a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, where massive objects bend light, we're able to see it. Despite being tiny, this galaxy is churning out stars at a rate tens of times faster than anything nearby. Could this same starburst activity explain the larger galaxies too? Maybe, but the answers remain elusive for now. The more we look, the more the universe surprises us. Unlocking Gliese 504 B's mysteries. The takeaway from all this is that the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just showing us cool pictures. It's flipping the script on some of the most fundamental ideas about how the universe works. Whether it's challenging the Big Bang Theory, revealing planets with iron rain and scorching heat, or capturing the glow of auroras on distant giants, it's making us realize just how much we still don't know. What's next? With more discoveries likely on the horizon, only time will reveal what's still hidden out there. One thing is clear, the universe is full of surprises, and humanity is only just beginning to uncover its secrets. Let's keep looking because each new finding is rewriting our understanding of the cosmos in ways we never imagined possible. Let's talk about something that's got everyone in science circles buzzing lately, the James Webb Space Telescope. This cutting edge instrument has been out there flexing its high-tech capabilities, giving us views of the universe we've never seen before. And now it has delivered a jaw-dropping image of Gliese 504b, an exoplanet that is turning heads in the scientific community. First, some context. Gliese 504b is a giant exoplanet orbiting a star located about 57 light years away from Earth. That's an immense distance, but in cosmic terms, it's relatively close. 
The planet is approximately four times the size of Jupiter, already making it a massive player in the planetary realm. What sets it apart, though, is its striking appearance. Gliese 504b is not just any gas giant. It's a glowing, pink-hued planet that looks almost otherworldly. Its coloration has earned it nicknames like the Cosmic Pink Flamingo. The image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope is the sharpest view of Gliese 504b we've ever had. Previous observations left us with vague impressions, but this latest snapshot is so detailed that it feels like we're peeking right into its atmospheric layers. The swirling clouds of Wapton dust are now visible in unprecedented clarity, and scientists are thrilled about the possibility of identifying its chemical composition. Is it dominated by hydrogen and helium, or does it contain something even more exotic? The answers could reshape our understanding of planetary formation. The implications of this discovery are enormous. Gliese 504b has been known to astronomers since 2013, but the lack of detailed data left it shrouded in mystery. Now with the capabilities of JWST, we're finally unlocking secrets that could challenge long-standing theories about how planets like this form and evolve. Space is a realm full of surprises, and discoveries like this highlight just how much we still have to learn. One of the standout details about Gliese 504b is its temperature. At around 800 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a scorching environment by human standards. However, for a gas giant of its youth, this temperature is relatively cool. Scientists are intrigued by how such a massive planet could cool off so quickly. Some are speculating that its unusual pink glow might hold the answer. The coloration is tied to the heat radiating from its atmosphere and how that heat interacts with light a phenomenon that could offer fresh insights into planetary physics. Another intriguing aspect is Gliese 504b's orbit. It's located about 43 astronomical units from its star, 43 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. To compare, that's farther out than Neptune in our solar system. Such an orbit raises fascinating questions. Did the planet form in this distant position? or was it pushed out by gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies? Unraveling this mystery could help us understand the complex dynamics that shape planetary systems. While Gliese 504b is capturing headlines, it's just one piece of the larger story. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just about capturing stunning images. It's about diving into the universe's deepest mysteries. Scientists are using this revolutionary tool to study galaxies that formed mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. They're analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets in search of conditions suitable for life. They're exploring phenomena like black holes and nebulae, uncovering details that were once beyond our reach. The search for alien life is one of the most tantalizing goals of space exploration, and JWST is playing a crucial role in that quest. By studying planets like Gliese 504b, we're gaining the skills and tools needed to detect life elsewhere. Although this particular planet is an inhospitable gas giant, it's helping pave the way for the discovery of other worlds that might be more Earth-like. The potential to find a planet that is not just habitable, but possibly inhabited, is growing with every observation. What if Gliese 504b's mysteries hint at entirely new physics or alien engineering? Share your thoughts, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to join the Cosmic Conversation.